how many decisions an average human being makes in a day, you'll get all kinds of stats. And I did it for fun. And, and one Cornell research suggested that we apparently make about 200 plus decisions per day, just about food. <laughs> fun fact. So just think about the decisions that each of us are forced to make, because sometimes you're forced to make some decisions, uh, particularly in the work context. And we have so much of data coming at us these days, right? Uh, just yesterday, I was reading about this whole concept, a uh, whole new problem that we've created for ourselves called BI sprawl, business intelligence sprawl, because everybody has a dashboard, and now who's going to keep track of these dashboards? So we are, we are uh, drowning in data, and data is the new oil. All that is great, but we are really drowning in data. So what that has done to our decision-making abilities across the board, it's created decision fatigue. And I'm sure a lot of you are experiencing that as well. And you have so many things to deal with, right? You have your multiple roles. You have your technology leadership role. You have your client leadership role. You have your team leadership, people leadership role. And you're making decisions all day long. I remember when I used to be in these high pressure situations, I would come home, not want to talk to anyone and not want to make any decisions, not even decisions around food, by the way. So that's the level of intensity that we're all experiencing um, in, in, in making decisions. And it's one of the primary causes for organizational inertia. When was the last time you were able to get your product roadmap uh, approved and validated in time for your quarterly PI planning? How, how much uh, dragging of feet happens in that? So there are so many things, just look back. So my invitation to you here is to help your teams make decisions, help them prioritize, help them focus, help them identify that one thing they must do in that day. And you know, your daily uh, sync meetings are a great way to do that. A lot of us treat our daily sync meetings as a status update meetings, but there's a lot more that you can do.